Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sandy. I am the Thrifty Grandma. Not always thrifty, but I try to be thrifty. Um, th I want to thank all my subscribers for all your support. And if you're just here by chance and just snooping around, I'd love it if you join my channel and subscribe and click on that little bell, which will give you an alert to when I post um, new videos. I'm all about hauls and DIYs and thrifting and sometimes just chit-chat. So speaking of chit-chat, I had the, the neatest thing happen today. I was at Dollar Tree and this lady came up to me and she looked at me and she said, um, are you a YouTuber? And kind of took me back like, and I said, yeah, I, I, I am. I have a YouTube channel. She says, oh, she says, I saw you on Crafty Share Cupcakes um, channel. She said, I was looking for Canadian channels and I saw Crafty uh, Share from Crafty Cupcakes. And then she said, I noticed you. And the funny thing is, her name is Sandy with an I and I'm Sandy with a Y. And I just thought it was kind of neat, like, oh, wow, someone recognized me. Woohoo, I'm getting out there. So I just thought it was kind of neat. So anyway, my first little haul is from Dollarama. I bought four items. I bought two of these and two of these. Hubby really liked these. And so I bought the chocolate ones. And as you notice that... Uh, he already got into them. He really likes them. And they're moist. Just what he likes. So, that's all I got from... Uh, oh, yeah, and I picked up a loaf of bread. And that's all I got from Dollarama. So, let's get into my Dollar Tree haul. It's not that big. Um, what I'm doing is I'm really trying to avoid buying just because. It either has to serve a purpose or it's something I need. Maybe if I want it. And, oh, don't mind the pool noodle on the floor we have them uh, in front of our love seat and our couch because our little doggy gets playing with her ball and she purposely uses that little snout of hers and pushes it under there and then of course we got to get on our hands and knees sometimes we have to get a broom handle because the ball has rolled so far so that's why those are there so anyway i'm gonna start off with some food I bought two packages of these. Um, these are going to go in the motorhome. How handy are these? And they're good. I tried them last week when I made my husband a um, Mexican beef dish. And it called for macaroni. And he said they were really good. So, how handy for the motorhome. The less cooking I have to do in the summer, the better. Actually, he does all the cooking when we go camping. Then um, Anne from Ann Makes, she showed these, and I thought, mm-hmm, I'm going to get them. So I got two of these French's um, red bell pepper, and they're made with real bell peppers, and they got a, they're got they crunchy, and they'd be great on a salad. So I got two of those, and they're a nice size. How many ounces is that? 141 grams. So I got two of those. And then I got two of these ones. And these will be my favorite, I think. Dill. Dill pickle. Imagine on salads, on buns, on, on hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever. So I thought, yeah, I'll get those for $1.25 here in Canada. That's a good price. I'm sure you're paying. I would, because I have bought the onion ones. And I think I paid four something for them. Or five. So, And these are good till the 11th month of 2019. We're good to go on that. And again, um, I'll put one container of each in the motorhome and then leave one here in the house. Okay. A couple weeks ago, I purchased some pens. And where did I find one? In the bottom of the washing machine. It had gone through the wash and two rinse cycles. Thank you, hubby, for leaving a pen in your shirt pocket. Sorry, it sucks to have gold or um, blue ink dots all over your jeans and your shirt, doesn't it? So, I bought two more. 
and these are for me and one's going in my craft room and one's going by the phone I said to him, I'm gonna chain it chain it to the phone because these are my favorite they are medium and they're ballpoint and they're black ink and that's the kind of pen I like sometimes I will get blue ink Oh no, just this time I got black ink. I just really like them, but these are, I like this pen. And I like, I like black ink. So, that's that. Picked up a couple of these little, this is a package of uh, three little um, tin, tin buckets here. Oh, they, oh, they say, oh, it includes three message, three tabletop tins, three message cards, and white ribbon. Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, I just thought it'd be nice a little craft set of those. Picked up some paper clips. I don't know about you, but I'm always clipping papers to things. Picked up some sea glass. You know, I wasn't going to get it, but it looks so pretty in a fairy garden as accents. And I really like this color. I like the green, that, that minty green. We used to find this on the west coast of BC um, in Tofino when we used to go beachcombing. There was sea glass there. And also we used to get those huge big uh, glass uh, fishing floats. And they used to float them from Japan. And as teenagers, we did really naughty things. We used to explode them, break them, and oh, And they're they're costly. Like, they're worth something. Right now, my husband and I have a huge big, the size of a basketball. It's quite nice. Okay, picked up a little bus. That'll be for a fairy garden. For the grand girls, for... When they come over, they love Play-Doh. They just love it. They sit at the table and they play and play and play Play-Doh. This one has eight of the vibrant colors, and these are your primary colors here. Just your standard color. They just love it. And then for their little Easter baskets, Everly, the uh, seven-year-old, is just infatuated with noise putty because you see it toots. So I got her one in the green. I promised her that if I find another one, I'd bring her one. And what are these? These are lollipop rings. There's three little lollipop rings in there. So they'll, they'll each get one. And then for the girls, we got M Mushy Mallow Putty. It's borax free. And it says ages six and up. But the two and a half year old will be okay with it under supervision. But it's that kinetic sand kind of stuff. So I, I've had it before and I put it in a bowl for Everly. And she just, I think it's just that feel of it. And, and um, yeah, their imagination. They're very, they're tactile. Well, kids are ta very tactile. So I got one in the pink and one in the purple. So there's no arguing or fighting over whose is whose. Picked up some paint sponges. You know, I like those for the kids too, for the grandkids. But just to me, it's just easier. But those ones are for me. Picked up two little containers. I needed some to put some buttons in. And I think those are so cute. They've got little milk cans. Oh, another thing. Now, this one's for Everly. It's the Magic Owl Growing Pet. And um, Crafty Share Cupcake, like Share, she picked one up with a fairy. But when I saw the owl, I thought, oh my gosh. And it's three stages. You add water to the egg, cover the egg. For 12 to 24 hours, the egg will disintegrate. And then there is an owl after 48 hours. So, and that's what it looks like in the back. For $1.25. And you know, she loves, everybody loves watching these things growing. Thanks, Cher. I picked up one of these happy family bunny sheep. Bunny sheep. Bunny sheep. Oh, they're hard candy. I thought, mmm. They appear, I'm going to open it here. They, um, they look good. Let's see if I can get this open. They're for here anyway. They're not for the kids. I won't give the kids hard candy. If they're going to choke, let them be with their parents, not with me. That's what they look like. <laughs> Little bunny. Oh, I see. There's sheep. There's stuff like a bunny. I don't know. Anyway, I think you get 10 pieces in there. I'm not sure. Anyway, hard candy for hubby and I. Okay. 
That goes in Everly's Easter basket. And uh, Mommy just has to just pour them in there with all these beads. And we put some wax paper down and iron it. And she'll have a nice little heart. I think crafts are so important for kids. I used to craft with my boys all the time. This will go in friend mail. Go, you. Great friend, laugh out loud. They're kind of nice to have. It'll, if you don't wear them, you can look at them. Saw these today. I'm a sucker for these flipping things. For anything fuzzy. So there's a pink one with the purple arrow. I guess a pink arrow. And there's a blue one. They got the clips. My granddaughter likes to have them. She puts them on her backpack. And look at how pretty that mint one is. They're so soft. Okay, I got those. Picked up a few candy things. I like those. Hubby and I share these. Hubby's favorite chocolate bar. Oh, there's two in there. I'll leave two chocolate bars for him. And then me and my Smarties. One of my little weaknesses. Look at that gel. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to take that over to the grandkids tomorrow when I babysit. I think that'll be so cute on the on their window. Put it up high enough so the two and a half year old doesn't end up peeling it off all the time. And I picked up pen binders. And I'll show you in another video what I am doing with them. And I picked up, how many did I get of these? One, two, three, four, five of these. And they are Ziploc and folder. And I will show you what I do with those in the next mm, couple weeks. They had this board on for a dollar because there were some damages. Um, I got the best one out of the box and there was no damage to it. So I use those for whatever. And then finally, this Thursday, I'm having a ladies' dinner at our place. I belong, well, there's six of us friends, and we do um, dinners at each other's places, rotate. And so we do six dinners in the year, and there's usually averages maybe six weeks between a dinner. We don't do it for the month of um, December or for June, July, and August, you know, the summertime. But so this Thursday, it's my turn, and the theme is my dinner starts with a T. So my salad will have start with a T. Uh, I'm not gonna say what it is. Well, I guess, because none of them are on here. So my um, salad is gonna be tomato, cucumber, onion salad. Then my main dish is going to be teriyaki chicken and tater tot casserole and turnips and carrots. We'll just say they're orange turnips. And then for dessert, I'm making a um, trifle, strawberry trifle. And uh, But trifle starts with tea, right? And then there'll be tea. And then I'm going to get um, Baja Rosa for an aperitif, so just for with our, with our dessert, and that's made with tequila. So, I'm going to, under the ladies' plates, I'm going to have like a, um, a napkin that comes down on the table. I think that's how I'm going to do it. But anyway, I got them each a tea towel. So I picked up two of these. One's going to be for me, for to keep it. Look at these tea towels. I can't believe we got them, ladies. And they're cotton, made in India. Good cotton. When you soft or wash them, they soften up and they dry so nice. So I really love, like you, like you. So that's for one of the ladies. Then, oops, where is I here? That's for another lady. One of my friends roll with it. Aren't these just so cute, these tea towels? And this is for another lady. What oh, shaken? And then one of the ladies, she she does the barbecues whenever we have barbecues. So I thought they'd be cute for her. Don't flip out. 
And then one of the other ladies is a baker, so just beat it. Aren't those the neatest things to give out? I think. So my dinner will be tea, 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 teas, lots of teas. And I'm also going to have a little bag of treats, which is going to have Twizzlers, um, Turkish Delight, and some toffee in it. And I think that's all I could figure out that was with tea. So anyway, ladies, that's it. That's it for my haul. Tomorrow I'm babysitting, which is going to be Monday. I guess it'll be the 1st of April tomorrow. Ooh, wow. Um, we've got beautiful sunny weather. I will do a video, a small video with my craft room to give you an update. I didn't get the time in I wanted. Um, I did about approximately two hours, but this has been a busy week. My hubby and I took everything out of our sheds. I have my own shed, a garden shed. He's got his own. We pulled everything, absolutely every item out of it. We had a pile, like we had a pickup load for the dump. We took a car load to an online garage sale, which a lady sells it um, to make some money and uh, gave a bunch of stuff away. And I tell you, it's so nice to have those cleaned out. So that's where my energy went this week. Plus I got the whole, all the front uh, flower beds cleaned out. And so I'm gonna go work for a while now in my craft room, then I'll make a video. And until then, we'll see you guys at the next 